What is up, disc golfers? Welcome back to Vlogmas, day 16. I am back here with Ezra Aderhold. Thank you. And today we are debuting the brand new OTB Glow Zones, and he's going to give you his top upshot tips to help you approach the basket with confidence. Let's do it, yeah. Perfect, let's Sweet. get it. All right, so the full style I'll talk about is disc selection. Like uh, Dylan said, we got the zones coming out on otbdisc.com. The zones are great all around disc, backhand, forehand, um, anything that you want to kind of have that reliable fade at the end. And then also you want a disc that's very comfortable in your hand that's gonna also give confidence in that sense. Um, and then as far as a couple tips for getting your up shots more dialed in. One of the main things is controlling the speed of the disc on a, on a short shot. So if you're throwing all out distance, it's easy to kind of throw as hard as you can and get the right speed. But if you're trying to dial it back, it can be difficult to get the right speed for the disc you're trying to attack. So one of the ways you can do that is slowing down your movement towards the like towards the target towards the with the run up so if you do a full run up and try to throw it 150 feet it's gonna be hard to keep that disc from going you know 250 or whatever it is so slowing down your footwork into that shot and kind of you know shortening your steps can help a lot or even just doing a standstill where you don't have any actual movement with your legs can help a lot as far as just slowing that down and having it to where you take some speed off the disc in a really easy way so We'll show, I'll show just like a, a short little walk up. It's that fade at the end of the zone. And then it's a standstill shot as well. So that, that, that's kind of one way you can really slow the disc down. And then another thing that's important is accelerating through the shot so when you're trying to slow the disc down it can be easy to kind of slow the disc down with your arm you don't actually want to do that you really want to shorten the, the kind of shorten the reach back so if i take a full reach back and only want to throw it 35 miles an hour or whatever it is it can be easy to like like pull fast like a normal like a normal throw and then slow down into the actual power pocket and that's really going to create a lot of inconsistency as far as aim and speed and things like that so what you want to do is shorten the reach back and then make sure you still pop at the end if you think about putting you can make a putt go 40 feet with a with a full pop at the end so it's the same principle with a throw you can throw it 150 feet with pop if you just shorten the reach back so let's see what that looks like on, a, on an actual shot So like as you can see, I was accelerating through the act, through the full motion and still got the pop to the basket. And that allows me to add more spin to the disc as well and uh, control its angle and all that, all of that. So it's kind of like golf too. I wanna, I wanna kind of make that comparison. Um, with putting in golf, you wanna make sure that you had acceleration through the putt. You're not having this massive, you know, uh, massive backswing and then decelerating into the ball because that creates a lot of inconsistency. So it's kind of the same. Kind of the same principle, let's just throw another one. Just kind of see what it looks like. Drop. Oh! Oh! Hit metal. So if you guys apply these tips, you guys can hit metal too. Um, no, but hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks Dylan for having me on the channel. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about some upshots. One of the most important parts of the game. And maybe often overlooked. I'm, it's, it's, it's part of the game, I'm still walking on a lot too. Um, definitely, I'm, I'm even trying to, you know, figure out the acceleration thing more and adding more spin and all that stuff. So, it's a never running process. Keep at it. Make sure you subscribe to Dylan's channel, Icebook TV. And uh, thank you for watching. Go buy some zones. Heck yeah. <laughs>